walking down the street once, and this dude hung out his car window, and he was like, uh, toot toot, beep beep. Uh, <laughs> he was like, let me see them toes. And I was like, is that Quentin Tarantino? I was like, what? Microphone guy, where's the microphone man? Clap it up for him. Microphone man, what's your name? What's his name? Rodette. Oh, okay, you mixed? You got a black mom or? You got an aunt? <laughs> uh, can we give it up for, uh, clap it up for friends? Clap it up for friendship, right? Friends who bring you things that you need when you need it, right? Sometimes it's a tampon, sometimes it's some drugs, sometimes it's like advice that you don't want to hear. I had a friend uh, give me some edibles the other day and she was like, Marie, this is strong. Don't eat the whole thing. And the way she said it, I was like, is this crack? And she was like, no, it's weed. But she was like, don't eat the whole cookie. You're going to be high for several days. And I was like, several days? The way my schedule is currently set up, I don't have several days. And then I was like, mm, yes, I do. <laughs> I have time to be high. I don't have anything else to do. But I didn't take it. I was like, you know what? I'm gonna save this edible for church. <laughs> okay, because she's a Christian. <laughs> and we all know the higher you are, the closer to God, amen? <laughs> so, so I didn't take it. I set the cookie down and I went out. And then a couple days later I came home and there was a big ass hole in the cookie. And I was like, somebody's been eating my snacks. And then I looked at my bed and there were little footprints in my bed. And I was like, somebody sleeping in my bed. And then I heard tap, 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 tap behind me. And I turned around in slow motion because I'm dramatic. I was like, And there was a squirrel on my stove waving at me. I was like, oh, this nigga is high. <laughs> but I wasn't, so I screamed, right? Because I know what a squirrel is. It's just a rat in a cute coat. I was like, I, I screamed, right? I hit all the notes that Mariah Carey be missing on New Year's Eve. I screamed. Oh, a lot of Mariah Carey fans in here? Okay. Shout out to this white man in the back. I am. Come on, Dale, you a lamb? <laughs> Ooh, okay. She's a superstar. Uh, what the hell was I just talking about? Oh, okay, so. <laughs> <laughs> so I started screaming and this squirrel freaked out and he fell into my sink where I had several things soaking. So he immediately started to drown, right? And. I'm not about to save this squirrel. I can't swim. So I'm watching him. <laughs> Alexa, how do you save a drowning squirrel in a sink? She didn't know. Um, do you guys really think that they're listening to us on all our devices? Yeah. You guys think they're watching us on our laptop cameras? Yep. Yeah. You guys got tape on your laptop cameras? Yeah. I don't, I'd be doing full splits in front of my laptop. <laughs> Butt naked, I'd be like, who clocked in today, Jeff? I just watch. <laughs> There's, who do you think is watching you? And you think they're watching everybody? There's no way they're watching everybody. Some of y'all got HP laptops. They, they are not watching Hewlett Packard people, no. They don't care what poor people are doing. They know what poor people are doing. You're crying. <laughs> You getting high with the squirrel in your house. <laughs> I used to live in LA and LA has cute edibles. Mm. They got cookies, they got gummies, they got weed tea. Whoo. Anyway, when I lived in LA, I would walk everywhere because I am a New Yorker. That's what we do here. And in LA, that's weird to them. When they see you walking in LA, they freak out. Like I would be walking down the street and people would be in their cars like, what are you doing? And I'd be like, I'm walking to the store. And they'd be like, why? I was walking down the street once and this dude hung out his car window and he was like, uh, toot toot, beep, beep. Uh, 
He was like, let me see them toes. And I was like, is that Quentin Tarantino? I was like, I was like oh, okay, I should have lotioned my toes this morning. He drove away. You want to know why I do comedy? I don't know why I do comedy. Um, I've been fired from every job I've ever had, and I can't get fired from this because I'm my own boss. So that's why I'm still here. But it's like, am I a comedian? You know, there's a pandemic happening right now. I'm not really performing. People have always told me that I, I'm funny. And the first person to tell me I should be a comedian was my guidance counselor in high school. So she told me to do it, I never did it. But every time I went somewhere or like I was doing something, people would be like, you should do comedy. And I was like, should I model? And they were like, no, comedy. And he was like, okay. I think for me, the best part is when I say something that like I just make up while I'm standing there and it gets a really big laugh. And it's like, ah. Uh, or, you know, you have like a bad show or you, you tell a joke that doesn't land and it's just like crickets. The silence is so loud when you're having a bad set. But when you're doing well, it's, it's loud in a completely different way. We love it. <laughs> so I was walking in LA and I, I had to go to tar uh, Rite Aid to pick up some toilet paper. You know, back when toilet paper was affordable. <laughs> Before you needed to take out a small business loan to wipe your ass. So. <laughs> Are y'all not buying toilet tissue in here? It's like, it's gone up like 300% to wipe your butt. Okay, nobody's wiping their butt in here. <laughs> so I went to write it, I got some toilet paper, and I don't know if you guys have noticed, but I have a beautiful smile. <laughs> <laughs> so I smile at people, not because I'm nice, but because I'm showing you that my teeth are better than you. <laughs> okay, a lot of gaps in the audience tonight. So. <laughs> A lot of underbites tonight. <laughs> so I was coming out of this Rite Aid and I smiled at this homeless man. Cause I was like, I'm not gonna give him no money, but a smile is free, right? So I smiled at this homeless man and he lifted his shirt and dropped his pants and started waving his naked. It was a TikTok dance. And I was like, ew, that's so nasty and thick and nasty. <laughs> I was like, oh my, it's so dirty, right? So, <laughs> so I, I'm like Hansel and Gretel. I can only go the way that I came. So I was like, well, this is the way that I came to the store. So this is the way I have to go home. And this homeless dude, you know, he steps out of his pants and just starts sprinting toward me. And I was like, well, there's no way he's gonna touch my body with his body. He's poor, right? So <laughs> he's running. And at the last, I was like, well, one of us is gonna have to move to the side. It ain't gonna be me. And at the last second, it was me. Cause I was like, oh, he's not gonna. <laughs> he ran by me. And then this homeless guy just starts chasing me in the parking lot of this Rite Aid in the middle of the day. And I was like, well, one of us is gonna get, I'm gonna run until one of us gets tired. <laughs> I got tired first. It's the middle of the day. Cars are coming in and out of this Rite Aid parking lot. And people are like, her boyfriend looks furious today. I'm like, this is not my man. They're like, yes, sis, reclaim yourself. I was like, I don't know him. They're like, uh-huh, no, you don't. I was like, somebody please help me. And they're like, you better help yourself from within. I hate LA. You better help yourself from within. Finally, a car pulls up between us. It was a Mitsubishi Eclipse. I was like, is this the car that saves me? <laughs> I said, ain't no Range Rovers coming in here. No G-Wagons, right? So, so I reach for the handle. The door is locked. The driver's like, oh, you trying to get in my car. I was like, open the door. The homeless man is coming around the car. I get in. Soon as I sit down, all you see is penis on the passenger window. Just, <laughs> and he is moving that thing. Just, <laughs> you know, like the sound that your naked body makes in the shower when you're like, <laughs> like that's what. His dick was doing to this poor man's window. And I know he was poor because it was a Mitsubishi Eclipse. And I was like, I gotta go back to New York where the homeless people are respectful, you know? They, they not gonna pull their dick out until you fall asleep on the train. <laughs> and then they just tap it right on your forehead, just. You just end up with a nice penis glaze on your baby hands. <laughs> That's not really how I wanted to finish, but... <laughs> That's
that's how I finished. Anyway, thank you guys so much.